Linus bets half pot and oof. Uh, I mean, Barry getting a lot of buttons today. Easy open raise and call. 83 is a pretty solid board for both of them. I mean, not a whole lot is happening, but both guys are going to have a lot of trips and a bunch of random air hands. Linus check raises trips, which is standard, although you should definitely call sometimes as well. And with a pair, no way Barry can fold. So the king is actually not a very good card for Linus. If, if Linus had a really, really shitty king high, he would usually call or fold. He wouldn't really check raise very often. So he's going to have a lot of hands like pocket fours that aren't great anymore. Hands like 10-9 offsuit that didn't improve. So Linus is going to do a decent amount of checking here. So I wouldn't be shocked if he sometimes checked a hand like trips here and double check raise or even check called. Very tricky play. But this time Linus decided to bet. Barry's thinking, well, I'd bl I block... I unblock clubs, and I block hands like jack-8, so Linus could easily have many, many bluffs here, so I don't think he's going to fold. Pretty boring hand if he did. And now River is a jack, which is, uh, you know, I mean, I'm kind of, I kind of fear for Linus. Had he bet like 11k here, I, I wouldn't have been shocked had Barry just made it 50k to go, right? But now that Linus is checked... While Barry might be thinking he can value bet here, he probably doesn't put Linus on a jack much. He may not put him on a ton of 820 jacks, so maybe he gets value. But the standard play would just beat the check behind. Barry actually goes for a, you know, half pot on a bit value bet. Pretty thin, so he's putting Linus on a lot of, like, you know, one pair type bands, like pocket fours, pocket fives. Let's see if, if Linus check raises here. I think he will, but I wouldn't be shocked if he just called. He just calls. So he's probably thinking, hey, I, I'm doing pretty well against uh, Barry's betting range, but once I check raise, I really don't want to get shoved on, and I can obviously lose to, you know, 10-8 plus, which is many combos, like 10-8, jack-8, queen-8, king-8, ace-8, jacks, kings, threes, right? That's a lot of combinations. 8-3, I guess. So nice hand. Nice hand. Let's actually rate them. I'll give Linus an 8.5 out of 10. I'll give Barry a... I'll give him an 8 out of 10. Nice hand. Ace queen is going to be a three bet always. I mean, you're facing an 80 plus percent range, right? And ace queen is just doing very, very well against that range. Queen six five is another pretty innocent board. Ace queen is a standard bet for sure. You don't need to bet so lar in a super large on a dry board like this. The eight, however, is not a great card for Linus. I mean, Barry can easily have hands like, you know, five six or 8-5, or queen-8, or 9-7, or 7-4 even. Or he can have hands like queen-10 of hearts that are looking pretty damn good, even though he's behind with his hand. So Linus checks to try and control the size of the pot. And now Barry actually goes for a very large bet uh, on a pretty dry, on a dry-ish board. So Linus is never going to fold here. So I wonder whether he check-raises all in or whether he calls. I think he's going to check-raise, but I haven't seen the hand. I'm wrong about that one. He calls. And now on the river, Linus is never going to fold. I imagine that if Barry bets, he will just go all in here, right, for about 90% pot. And Linus knows that Barry can maybe have a hand like king-queen or queen-jack as a value bet. He can obviously have bluffs. And, you know, if you're not calling top or top kicker against a very aggressive opponent, heads up, then you're not calling much. So he knows he can be behind for sure, but there's no way you can fold. And once Barry checks behind, Linus knows he's ahead 100% of the time, right? And, well, I guess 99%. You want to include that 1% chance he's, he misclicks. But if Barry had a hand like 5-6 six, or 8-6, six, he would always shove. So nice hand by Linus. He could have shoved. He could have bet the turn. It's all pretty close. The only thing I, I would say is mandatory is the pre-flop 3-bet. And I guess the flop C-bet is, I wouldn't say it's mandatory, but you're going to bet here very often, especially with hand like Ace-Queen. So yeah, good stuff. Very good stuff. Open and a three bet. And we, we can actually see a $200,000 pot here. So Linus three bets uh, quite small, actually. Nine and a half big blinds. And we see an ace four three flop. This board is quite dry. I don't think Barry Sweet has five do suited, but he's going to have threes, fours, ace four, ace three. He's got fans like six, five suited that have an open end there. So it's a pretty good board for Linus, but it's not incredible. If the board were something like Ace-King-X, that would be incred an incredible board for Linus because he has Ace-King and Barry likely never does. So, Barry does raise here and he raises quite large, in fact, around five times Linus's bet. 
So he's quite polarized here. He's not raising a hand like pocket eights here for Thin Valley, right? Linus actually goes for the three bet, which is very unorthodox. Most people on a dry board just call or fold. So Linus is representing a very, very strong range here. Or he just thinks that Barry, he just thinks that Barry is full of it and he's putting him to the test. With a hand like Queen Jack of Hearts. Turn is a seven and Linus checks, which I did expect. I mean, Barry could easily have called a three bet with five, six suited, raise the flop and call a three bet, right? And I don't think it's very likely that Linus does that. So Barry can easily have the nuts here. Barry bets small. So if he, when he bets 15K here, if Linus were to call, the pot is going to be around 74K. Barry would have 65 behind. So he's going to do a lot of shoving on the river. And his range is very strong for betting here. Now, on the one hand, Barry's random fives now make a straight. On the other hand, it is less likely that he has 6-5 suited. It's a pretty sick spot to find bluffs in, to be honest. And Barry goes all in. And he goes all in for over 150 big blinds, right? So what the hell is this guy bluffing with? What does he raise on the flop, quite large, and he called a 3-bet, and then he... When 6-5 gets there, he stabs a turn, and now he shoves the river. So even if he were bluffing a hand like 5-3 or 4-5, that might got there. What is he bluffing with? Does he really have the queen jack of spades here? Just raising the flop and then calling a 3-bet? If Barry's bluffing here, that would be amazing, right? It's very difficult to find a hand to bluff with. Let's see what he has. Unfortunately, Linus folds. I really would have liked to see what, what both guys had there. And I honestly have to say, I have no idea. I think it's very reasonable for Barry to have 6-5. I don't really know what Linus has. Maybe he had a hand like ace-4 suited. You know, 3-bet pre-flop makes sense. C-betting on the flop makes sense. 3-betting uh, the flop, I guess, makes some sense. And then on the turn, you're scared. And on the river, you think, well, what the, what the hell is this guy bluffing with? I'm just folding. So, yeah, very, very tough one to rate. Very tough one. So let's go to the next hand. Maybe we can rate that one. Queen Jack suited is an easy three bet. And we see a 10-9-6 flop, which is definitely a scary flop. If you're Barry, if, you're, if you have a hand like Kings here, you're definitely not that very happy about this board, right? Linus is going to have 10s, 9s, 6s, 8, 7, 10, 9, maybe 9, 6. Maybe 10 6. He's going to have hands like open enders and gut shots and overcards. So Linus has a lot of good hands here. Queen Jack, if you're going to bet, is a decent hand to bet with, though. You block some top pairs. You have an overcard, straight draw. And Barry actually does something very tricky. He hits the best card in the deck. I guess the eight of spades would have been the best card, but he hits virtually the best card in the deck. But he actually checks. He's afraid of Linus having a seven, jack, seven, queen, jack as well. So he actually checked, checks this uh, time with the nuts, which I think is a cool play. Rivers of nine, which shouldn't hurt Barry too much. I could definitely see Linus checking behind two pair of seven and having a full house, but it is somewhat uncommon, right? So I definitely expect Barry to try and get some value here, either by betting or by check raising. Barry actually does go for the check raise. You know, he's probably thinking Linus will bet a lot of 7x here. He'll even bet with a 10, and then he can check raise and it'll look like a bluff and Linus will pick him off. So I think it's a, it was a good play. Easy three bet heads up with ace queen. Flop is nine six three, which is a really difficult board to play. I mean, both guys are going to hit this board, but especially Linus. So Barry's thinking, well, I don't really want to bomb it too much on this board. Let me just go ahead and bet on the small side. This is kind of like a mergey value protection bet. The ten really doesn't help uh, Barry out very much. Linus could easily have to turn a pair, two pair, straight, whatnot. Barry doesn't really have any blockers to the calling range, so this end is not really a good bluffing hand. He also has some showdown value. Linus bets half pot, and oof. Uh, I mean, I don't claim to be a heads-up expert, to be honest. I think I'm pretty good, but I'm not an expert. However, this call seems to be way too loose, to be, uh, to be honest. I mean... Barry could easily be dead already, or he could just be drawing super slim. A lot of bluffs get there on the 10. So yes, I get it. 7-5 you beat, random spades you beat, some overcard floats you beat. But you're just never going to win against them. So yeah, I, I don't like this call. And now 7-5 even gets there. 4-5 gets there. 
And so, I mean, Barry won, right? And yeah, sure, he did win. But just because he won doesn't make it a good play. I think his play is definitely too loose. So, yeah, I would say that's uh, that's a bit, of a, a bit of a mistake. I mean, Linus is an aggressive player, but he's not an absolute monkey, right? So I, I wouldn't say, oh, he's so loose that you want to call there.